Leo, welcome or welcome back to another reading. My name is Brandon Spice. It's an honor to have you here on this channel. And if you're new here, this channel is all about helping you find the clarity you're looking for in your divine love, true love situation so that you can live out your true soul purpose with and alongside the person God wants for you to marry in this lifetime and beyond. This is for mid-June of 2023. Leo, sun, moon, Venus, and rising guides and angels through the power of unconditional love. What is it you'd like Leo, sun, moon, Venus, and rising to know during this particular moment in time about their true love, twin soul situation, nine of cups. Your person's on the pursuit. <laughs> I will say that. Okay. Um, I say this because you may be feeling this very strongly, Leo, at this moment in time. Like, I feel like you might be focused on other things. In the background, though, you always feel like you feel this person getting closer to you. Okay, like you feel like it's, it's, it's almost like it's not obvious on the surface level at all. But like internally, intuitively, you feel this person is is pursuing you energetically, even if there's nothing being spoken or said, it's like a feeling that you're getting that this person is moving closer towards you or that this person really wants a relationship with you. Okay. And you're starting to feel this kind of get uh, strong, like stronger inside. Okay. Yeah, this is something you might have been waiting for. And also this person is waiting to do or to perform tangibly, right? To act out of in the physical realm. But it's almost like it's building up. Well, that is a random little gnat. <laughs> I just landed on my card. Um, it's so funny. It's almost like it's building up, okay? Um and the more it builds up within this person as this person sits within this energy of desire or wanting to pursue you or moving forward towards pursuing you, the more that you start to feel it and the more that you are feeling it as well. Um, I feel like the reason this person is waiting so far to say anything is because they feel like they messed up pretty badly in the past and there could have been a pretty rough situ like rough separation between you and them. Five of Swords here. And it made them feel really guilty or unworthy of being able to move towards you or confident in being able to pursue you. So right now, even though there's a very strong desire to come towards you, it's like they're in the waiting game. And you both might kind of be in the waiting game too. But I feel like you, you've been just moving forward, doing what you need to do. And then as you are just moving forward with your life, it's like you're feeling this intuitively come come through to you or come come to you specifically sporadically at random times nine of nine of wands here the queen of pentacles it's kind of like this energy comes and goes a bit but but overall if we were look to look at the trajectory of how you're feeling about towards this energy it's like it's growing it's increasing and it seems to be moving um towards you this moment in time justice card is here two of uh two of cups so this is a uh this is the you have to know this situation you're in, if you're if you happen to be watching this reading, it's very important you know this is a divinely orchestrated situation of karmic justice being being put through with you and your person here. Like you're being put through a situation of divinely orchestrated karmic necessary justice with you and your person here through and because of the separation. It's almost like this the separation between you two had had to happen. It was divinely ordained to happen to put you both in this situation where it's like you are moving forward with your life, but also like your person is steadily, slowly, like moving towards you and you're feeling this and yet you don't maybe tangibly know about this, but things need to like balance out in the relationship. Right. And in order for them to balance out in the relationship, it's like, you need to receive this person. That's one thing the guys are like, it's very clear. It's like, they're like, you need to receive this person. This person wants to come for you. Okay. Not the other way around. Um, that's justice here. Yeah. Tower card is here. That's what's, that is what is going to change the game for you, Leo. Um, I really, truly feel okay. In this moment in time, Ace of Wands and just, you knowing, like, like just, you knowing that I feel is going to give you that certainty or that confirmation that you're looking for, that this person is that this person is actively pursuing you like energetically and also wanting to pursue you. It's just that they're, they're holding back from that for, for the time being right now. We'll probably get some more details as to why as well, but tower card is here as well um, with justice. So it's like, it's almost like the more you understand this or the more that you feel this, the more certainty and clarity you get in your own life path and your own soul direction. And it's like, 
as this gets con more and more confirmed and what that's what the guides are saying is like it's going to get more and more confirmed as time goes on not less right so the more you're feeling it energetically the more it might start to be confirmed even more energetically if not tangibly or physically in little ways or the universe might be giving you signs that this is happening this entire time because the energy is coming coming within right um it's 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 coming up within you, right? It's coming up from within you, energetically speaking. It's rising. That's exactly the perfect card to describe that feeling that I was getting with the channeling is like, this is an energy rising and bubbling up from within you of this person's passion towards you and excitement towards you and like certainty towards you. And again, because you two in this, this divine soul situation are connected, right? You're each the same frequency and the same soul in two different bodies it's like you're feeling this in real time and as you feel that and you allow it in right because you have to receive it in this particular case and that might be the different difficult thing is like le you learning to receive this person's energy towards you and this person's more in the pursuit pursuit role of you as you learn to receive it it gives you more of that overwhelming confidence and clarity and um, purpose to move forward in your life because right now you might be forced to be independent on your own pursuing your career and or money and or the things that you need to pursue be or do in your lifetime leo that are, are very important for just your individual life purpose and what you deserve karmically to receive because this is about the whole reading here right if i can just summarize it is uh, receiving what you deserve to receive in love and in life circumstances, Leo. That is what is coming to you. And I feel you've been learning that more and more, and you've been receiving the circumstances or finances or opportunities that you have needed for your highest and greatest good in life, generally speaking. And the next one is love. The next one is love. Love is the thing that is going to be even more fueling to you receiving these life circumstances that are beneficial for you, okay? But the guys want to be clear, this is when you realize that it's like they're after you, right? You are just pursuing your success and your happiness, your independence, and it's like they're coming for you. It's not the other way around necessarily. Not that that's a bad thing, but in this particular case, this is your karma to receive them and to receive this divine love. Beautiful, beautiful confirmation and synchronicity with the cards here, huh? Okay, Two of Cups, Justice, and the Lover's card. In case there's any doubt, the person I'm talking about for you is your divine partner. Let the lover speak for you. Okay, This is your divine, I call it the twin soul situation. You two divinely connected, two, two bodies, same soul. Okay, And because of that, there's a link. You can think of it, you can see a link at the bottom of your soul go from one to the other, and there's an energy transfer. So you're feeling this, right? This is how you're feeling their energy towards you. So as I say these words, this might be, you might be feeling this as well, bubbling up inside of you. This is the divine love situation, okay? So this is, again, divine union, divinely orchestrated separation by God and the angels in order to allow you each to go through this experience for some reason. Tower card, uh, I'm sorry, a nine of swords with the 10 of swords and the tower card. So this is part of the reason, I, I told you they'd give more clarity on why, but part of the reason you two went through this was to ac actually experience what it feels like um, for this situation to, to end or to split apart. Okay. And to realize that no matter how much it's ended tangibly, like on a surface level, there is absolutely nothing that can separate you two. Like you cannot separate two people ever who are the same soul or connected or divinely orchestrated to be together, whose soul path it is to be together. This has been the main concern. It's like you've you had to go through, quote unquote, a regular breakup as you would with any other person you've been in a relationship with. Yeah? You had to experience that same experience with this soul in order to realize the difference <laughs> between those breakups which were healthy to move forward from and good to let go of and good to like not stay in this weird kind of energy with. But with this situation, it's like, oh yeah, we broke up and still there's this, we're still connected. We're still as connected as we were yesterday. And it could be, you know, a year from that time. And it doesn't matter. Nothing, nothing ever can, can tear you two apart ever. It's, it's divine love. It's the twin soul situation. So this whole reading is to say 
you had to experience this and you had to experience this doubt and this worry and this ending so you could truly, truly realize what it is that, again, nothing in the world could ever truly tear you two apart because you two are meant to be, okay, in this lifetime. And that's what you're realizing. Queen of Wands with the Wheel of Fortune. It's giving you the confidence and it's giving your person the confidence and clarity, by the way, to realize Wheel of Fortune is here with the lovers. There's nothing you could ever do. There's nothing you or your person could ever do in this lifetime to ever screw this up to the degree that you would not end up together and meant to be. Okay. Now, I mean this quite literally, but I also want to say, you know, let's take it to the extreme, right? Like, let's say each of you used your free will and decided, no, we're not going to be together in this lifetime. We're going to push this away. It's going to, it's going to hurt and, and we're going to be screaming in our souls for an entire lifetime, but we're going to push it away. The next lifetime, right? It would just, you'd be giving an, you'd be given another opportunity to come through this, right? Like it is ine inevitable. If you want to be Thanos, <laughs> snap your fingers. It, he says, I am inevitable. This is one of those situations. It is inevitable. It is whether it's this lifetime or the next lifetime. And my assignment here from God, <laughs> if I may, is to share with you that no, it's it's intended for this lifetime. It's not intended to be the next lifetime. It can be, but it's not intended to be. It's intended to be this lifetime. It's meant to be. So that's why uh, you had to go through this, really. Okay, so each of you, right, when the time is right, Wheel of Fortune, when you come together, you'll realize, okay, well, this is what we have. This is what we really are. And, you know, we better figure this out because if, uh, you know, if we don't, it's like, it, it's going to be impossible, right? Near impossible to, to not be with one another in this lifetime. Okay. It's possible, but when when and as there's an opportunity to be together and we're not being together it's it makes life very difficult because of there's such a strong soul bond and connection just naturally existing here okay so unless we want to go through that suffering right nine of swords ten of swords perpetually we better figure out a way to make it work because that is what god's will is Interesting. Okay. Uh, Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and the Emperor. So you have realized here that you need steady, steadiness from your person. You need the relationship to be steady, uh, certain. Okay. You need someone who's there. Okay. All of this that we've channeled aside, like divine union, soul connection. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. However, mo most people don't realize is even if that's all present on a spiritual level, you still need the tangible human commitment, right? We didn't come here just to exist in a spiritual relationship that's only in the 5D. We came here to have a real committed relationship that where there's a home and a family life and there's stability and there's a, there's a decision to be there, right? And to stay there and to, and to do this together. So you showing up here is the emperor, by the way. So you're, you're realizing, hey, if I'm going to be able to step into my true purpose and step into my self, my most powerful self, I need a partnership that is stable, no matter what. I, I've, I need to be with someone who's able to commit and able to be there for a lifetime. If I don't have that in my life, I will never have the emotional certainty or stability to fully step into my true purpose. Yes, you will still be able to do your purpose, but there's a there's a next level up of what you'd be able to do with that partnership, okay, with that commitment. And you realize that, right? Like you're definitely able to do it on your own. There's nothing wrong with that. But there's another level of purpose and fulfillment that you would get from within a stable and committed relationship. And that's what you are realizing and what you are essentially needing and demanding from this person. Okay. Final outcome over the middle of the spread. By the way, if you guys want to go deeper into this reading, we will have an extended, which will be going into your person's circumstances, how they feel towards you. More on that later, but just wanted to give you guys a heads up. Uh, final outcome here in the reading, death card with the three of wands and the seven of swords. You're saying this cycle, this is a negative cycle showing up. Look, it looks like a little tornado here. Seven of swords, death, three of wands, seven of swords, death, three of wands. You're saying this negative cycle 
that we've been in, okay, and that you're saying my person has been in, basically, which is refusing to share the truth or be upfront or be honest with themselves or bring out some type of emotional clarity from within their soul, okay, which has led to ending, right, which has led to circumstances ending or which has led to endings in the past and then and then moving forward and then doing that again and going like that cycle needs to end okay if if you two are going to be able to move forward you're saying three of wands right we need to like go a different way we need to choose a different cycle okay um you know, you're refusing this, basically, this seems isolated from your energy, you're like refusing, you're like, if you're not willing to be honest and upfront, and have a stable emotional foundation and commitment, or commitment, generally speaking, then I can't, right, I, I this is not going to work for me, right. So three of wands is saying, in order for us to be able to take that next step forward, this is what we need, we need the end of keeping things hidden, seven of swords, or behind our, our back, or just not sharing the full truth about how we feel or what we want or what we're willing to do or be moving forward. Additional context over the top of this, please, Spirit. Page of Swords with the Page of Wands and the Three of Cups. Yeah, because it, it's left you wondering. This is the thing. Like, it, 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 Sometimes the way your person might have shown up has left you wondering as to whether they're going to be there for the long term, right? Page of Swords with the Page of Wands with the Three of Cups, it's kind of like your person maybe didn't didn't give you, they weren't able to give you that that commitment, right? That's the solid certainty, hey, I'm gonna I'm here, I'm here for a lifetime, like I'm not going anywhere. Like, you know, this is something there, it was a little questionable here. Page of Wands uh, with the Page of Swords with Three of Cups. So you would wonder, right? This is about you. You wondering, yeah, are are they gonna be here? Like, are they gonna be able to stay right or what's going on here and and that's kind of that's where you're at now and that's kind of been underneath the surface too in the past as well with this person and that's kind of where you're at now because you're like okay well i, I, I still don't know right I, the same thing so that's the cycle you're saying that needs to end no more of that i need certainty i need stability and i need to know you're you you choose to be in a marriage or a lifetime relationship and you're going to be here right? And you're committed. Best as you can know, right? It's like, obviously, no one knows how things are going to end up. But you know, the intentions are the most important, in my opinion, right? It's like, the best thing you can get, the only thing you can get is someone's honest and true embodied heartfelt intentions. Yes, I'm going to be here with you. I want that for a lifetime. Let's make it happen no matter what. And you know, obviously, if things change in the future, or if something happens that, you know, you can't control that. But if you, the, the only thing you can get is that intention. That's the thing your person here has failed, I would say it's been shaky with, and that's what you need. Okay, uh, final outcome slash advice for the viewer, then we'll talk about the extended Empress card, nine of cups and the devil. The reason why is your person was afraid. This is uh, the clarity you're looking for as to why your person's acting like this or was acting like this, acting slash was um, the context here. Your person was afraid of this being uh, toxic. Okay. They're afraid of being committed in a toxic dynamic. Okay. This is something that scared them a lot is being committed for the long term in something that was actually actually unknowingly toxic. Um, when in reality it was obviously, and is div obviously divine true love. Okay. So this is the main fear that was projected onto you, right? This whole time as to why your person refused to show up in this light is like devil card, devil card. It's like, all right, if I do show up in this light, how do I know? How do I know it's not, you know, this, it's not a toxic situation or it's like bad for me, right? It's like your person had this fear that was perpetually kind of showing up there. And it just, it, it scared them. I'll just say that, like it scared them a lot. That, that, this is the main reason why I would say your person has held back uh, now and in the past is um, something here definitely from their subconscious scared them into thinking that this was not uh, truly what it is. But believe me when they say that has been cleared up 
100% in their soul as of now. Judgment here with the Page of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. They realize now that you are the one. Uh, that's the words that come to me, Six of Cups, that you are their family, um, that you are their wife or husband, depending on your role and gender. Uh, judgment here. I mean, they have seen this very clearly from the divine and from their guides and, and from God. Okay. It's, it's, it's been, it's been given to them. And so page of pentacles is this desire to somehow express this to you and to share, you know, their feelings and to apologize and to really make things right. So this is just, you know, it's where they're at for now. It's where the situation's at for now. Um, and I hope this is helpful for now, Leo. Um, we will be going deeper into this reading, though, in the extended, okay? We're going to be talking about your person, their true intentions towards you in this moment in time, what they're feeling towards you, what they want you to know, what the divine has for you in the situation, their timing, and anything else that's helpful for you when it comes to what your person is processing or going through now that is for your highest possible good. Check the description box below if you want more continued detail about this reading and or the featured products. And thanks so much for watching, Leo. Be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and share your experience in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Go be uh, sure to watch as well your sun, moon, Venus, and rising signs. I believe some of them are coming out now. And I'll see you guys in the extender or next time. Bye for now.